Okay, so we're going to do a watercolor today. <clears throat> this is Mayo, the art teacher, but today we're working on watercolor. So I'm going to take clear water, wet it for the sky. You can always use a bigger brush too, so you can cover more. So another way is uh, just covering it with water. It works. <clears throat> See? Then, <clears throat> yeah, then we're going to take some blue. So, my favorite blue is up here. We're going to use watercolor and opaque today, opaque colors. So, now spinning. There you go. Got some great colors today. <clears throat> I'm gonna use beautiful blue. It's called permanent blue. We're gonna use that today, just for the sky. So I'm gonna put it on at the top. This is watercolor. You already pre-wet it. And I'm just going to give it some of this look like this. And I might even just swipe it for clouds. Wispy cloud. You can even go like that. I like it. Mm -hmm. Gravity helps too. <clears throat> I'll just put in a little water in there. I like the way it spreads at the top too, see? It's beautiful. Okay. And I think I'm going to put in a waterfall today. So I'm going to put in a break line here. Never, always stay above. You don't want to do, um, you want to break up all your composition in thirds. So I'm going to put some area in here. And I'm going to bring it around like that. I'm going to clean my brush. <clears throat> and I think we're just going to do a watercolor today with a little opaque colors. So we're going to do it's my favorite. I love the way it looks so and then we're going to put some white on there so right now i'm using opaque watercolors so i'm going to put the tree in first i'm going to put a rock in like this and this is the waterfall and then i'm going to put in a rock here and i'm going to put in a couple things in here okay then i'm going to bring stuff down in here for the waterfall And then here, I'm going to go with straight black. <clears throat> and I'm going to put the black in here. Dip in the water. And just put the black in here a little bit. And then up in here, we got a couple rocks. So I'm using the straight black. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to go back and clean it up. And put a little bit, instead of the beautiful blue I was using in the beginning, which was the permanent blue, I'm going to use a little ultramarine. You know it's one of my favorites, even in oils. When I teach oils, I love ultramarine. So I'm going to put some ultramarine in here over the blue, over the black for the waves. I'm going to dip in my water again. I always have something to test your water with, so paper towel or something, and have three clean waters like I have here. And then I'm going to put in, again, <clears throat> the permanent blue, just like this. Run it up here. Remember, backgrounds are always fading, so I'm just going to put a little in there. So 
So have three clean waters when you're working with opaque. Um, and when you're working with um, <clears throat> watercolors, you want to keep. So I'm going to bring in a tall branch and a tree here like this. I'm going to drop my what I call pincher, my index and your thumb, my thumb all the way down like this. And I'm just going to bring a tree in, twisting, because it's still spreading there. So I don't want to really spread more out, but I like the way it makes different textures for trees. So I'm just going to bring it in like this. And I'm going to bring it in at the top. That's one of my trees. And I'm going to let that sit like that, because then I'm going to do my next tree, which is not going to be at the same level, but a twin. And I'm bringing that one here. Just taking a tiny bit of black, bringing that one in in the background. It's here. So they are twins. We can spread them like that. Then I'm going to bring in a little bit of a mossy green. you got to be careful not to get a speck there and ruin your watercolor. So I'm going to bring in some a verde green, but... In order to <clears throat> soften the verde green a little bit, I'm going to put in a little orange and add it to the green. And it makes kind of an antique green, which is much better. <clears throat> I call it antique, but the orange just brings down the verde green if you're limited with colors like most people. And it's just going to bring me some mossy areas. So I'm going to do like geometric here, if you can see me all around in here, a little up in here, and then smaller, because when you drop back, you do smaller. Here too, at least some of those dark rocks, those gray rocks, just some moss. And then here, I'm gonna bring this big mossy one here where the waterfall is, and then I'm gonna extend it out a little bit here, and I'm gonna go in here and bring a little bit in here, a little bit more of the green, tinier because, that's what the rocks have on them near a waterfall. Then I'm going to bring in a big tree with a little bit of that black on this side. And this one's going to be in the foreground. So I do like these colors because trees are not exactly brown or black. They're all different colors. We're going to bring it out like that. <clears throat> And I'm going to put just some um, burnt sienna behind that. In here. I'll leave some white. I'm going to put a really nice <coughs> evergreen in here. I'm going to show you how to do that. Then I'm going to bring down the colors in here a little bit. Like that. A little lighter in here. I'm going to let that dry. You can use a blow dryer. <coughs> But I'm not using a blow dryer today. Then I'm going to go in here. It's a twisty tree on the edge. And that's how I want it. <clears throat> go back in for a little bit of that uh, white. A little bit of gray in there. Leave that green in too. I like that color. And in here. So, and you should think of your light source. So I'm thinking the light source is just coming from above, maybe here. I'm going to put this first tree in here. <clears throat> and I'm letting this part dry because we're going to run the waves over it, the waterfall over it. And over here, I'm going to put in some of that green and orange in this tree. Remember, I kind of let it just flip up. I love when I do that. Drop your pincher, your index in your... This is how the Sumi painters do it with their bamboo brushes. They drop everything like that. Yeah, see? Like that. And then I'm going to go back in with a little bit of black. Yep. And that's its twist twin sister. So let's just put a little bit more in here. See how we can do this? Yeah. Picks it up, stretch it, build it like this. Here, a little bit more. 
leave that negative space in here with watercolor, especially with watercolors, you want some of that white showing. Drop it down, put those little branches in that just go out to nothing. And I don't want a lot, just a few down in here. I like this part. I like that white left there, so I'm leaving it. Then I'm going to put in a few very faint, so I'm going to clean my brush, my bamboo brush, and I'm just going to put in over the bushes here a real faint tree, way in the background, even softer. So I'm going to dip in clear water, and I'm just going to make a real soft tree back here, and I think even lighter, so I'm going to put some white in, drop the crab down. I call it my crab, but it is some soft trees in here. Yeah, I like those colors. We can do a little bit more gray. So I'm going to dip in. So it's just a combination of watercolors and opaque, which is not watercolors, but I like them a little foggy in here. So I'm just going to do it like that. Put another one really in here. And then back in there. Now what I can do is clean my bamboo brush. And I have three different clean waters. And I'm just going to bring it in. Kind of foggy here. Now, And you always can do this. This is the fun part. I just take a paper towel and lay it flat. And it gives a little texture. And it softens it just enough in that background. Just roll your paper towel if you're watching me and pick up some of those colors back in there. I don't mind that. Then I can take some of that green, verde green and orange, and just make my bushes. I might do a little bit of yellow because it is the background, so I kind of want to fade it out. So I'm going to put a little yellow on my palette, and it's just a uh, permanent yellow, so it works. And back into a little white. I want kind of a soft green. So I do add a little blue. It just gives it that. And then back here, we're going to have a shrub. But I like that white thing. So I'm just going to put a shrub in back here with this paper towel stamp. And I'm going to put it back in here. I like that. And around the rock. And maybe a little in here by the tree. So you just go like this. And I'll show you. I mixed a little blue, the original blue I had. Oh, watch out. The Verde Green. We're just going to put some in like this. And in here. Makes great leaves, see? Now, you could do... That's why I like to mix the blue in. Because the blue kind of softens it with the yellow. And we're going to use that permanent blue back in here just for a little bit, see? Just a little. Because, you know, I want it to be a real green, but I like this. And then I can add some leaves later. But right now I think this is fine, even if we bring some down in here. Yeah, like that. And we can bring some in here before we put the tree in. We can stamp some here. And I don't mind in here because it is moss. So it makes it look like moss when you just go like this and stamp. Yep, yeah. and a little back in there. So there we go. Maybe a little more in here. I like that strip back there, and I want it faded back there. So I'm going to leave that. This should be dry in a second, so I can run that other color over. So right now I'm just going to take some of that black and a little bit of that burnt sienna, which is a red brow right here red brown and I'm just going to put it mix it with the blue for the rocks so I like those colors and we're just going to put some rocks in like this I'm pretty sure I'm going to pick it up a little bit so you can see the lower part right in here move that we're going to put these rocks in here, these mossy rocks, see, on this edge. I like that. And then some ground, so we're going to put some pebbles in. Tiny pebbles, like that. Put the lower part in. 
can call it happy faces. Bring your bamboo brush and your fingers down like the Sumi painters. Put some textures and pebbles in here and bigger rocks like that. Maybe in here you know, at the bottom, you want some of that feeling in there. And then in here, we're going to bring this tree down maybe a little more here on the edge. That's fine. Let this dry here. I know you can still see it. I'm going to dip my bamboo brush in clear water. I have three clear waters because you want that. And so if we pause, you always pause with watercolors and you always have clean water and a stamp or a paper towel to do stamps, to do leaves, to do background. I am going to put in some tiny leaves in here and I'm going to show you how to do that. But right now I kind of want this waterfall area to dry. So what I'll do is I'll put in <clears throat> some tiny leaves, some detail you have to have that detail in here so I'm just gonna go like this so you're gonna watch me drop it down and just put some in you know you can wiggle it you want some definition here here I like to use yellow and I like to use a little bit of that um, <clears throat> permanent blue mixed with that yellow I like that color and then even to soften it, I will use the white. So this particular painting is a little bit of watercolors and a little bit of opaque. And I put some of those definitions in here, see? At the bottom, I did do a little stamping at the top, but I'm going to put some of these little marks in here, the shapes, the tree branches. I like some, some leaves in here. Even back in here, you can make little clumps like that for the bushes. That's a rock. You can put some clumps and shapes in here to give it the feeling of bushes. I'm going to leave that white stripe right here and just put it down like that. Then I'm going to bring it up in here, a little darker, a few leaves. Tiny ones too. I like these little tiny ones sitting around little detail here 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 I love those colors here you got their bushes and you can even stamp it out so too much detail I can just take it out a little bit it's the background so we don't want a lot but in here I kind of wanted the bigger clump because why well it's a tree in the foreground so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit so you can see this one I'm working on here slide it and I'm putting some of this in because it is a tree over the tree and this one is hanging a branch in the foreground a little bit in here a little bit in here for the clumps at the bottom okay. and it's faded back in there so drop it down a little bit more and then you can see my little clumps a little bit of that darker green and the yellow on the tip. And we put those in. I like that. Not a lot. Here too, a few. And you can see a few in here. Just the tip of my brush. It's a bamboo brush. And I like that. Here. Some clumps are just like this. A little tip here. And some right here. There you go. Now, <clears throat> I think you're at a good spot. We're going to go ahead and put this in here. The waterfall should be dry. So, And then I'm going to put in some dark spots. You can see right here. Yeah, the rocks. So, And I like blue in there too. Um, I like the blue. I like to use a little bit of the blue, the permanent blue. And a little bit of the green in here, see? And these are the big rocks here. So, and they're going to be darker. And then it's going to go back to this tree trunk and back in here. And we got the waterfall here, see? We got some of the stones we put down here. Dip in your water. 
And there you go. I like to leave some of the white and then make them rocks like that. And clean water. And just go over. Yeah. yeah. We'll leave some white. I like that. Um, I do like some of that permanent blue in there. Uh, just kind of gives it that cool look. And back in here. Leave some of the white. They're rocks. You can even put some of that blue or that uh, burnt sienna in. A little bit of brown under in here. Not too much because you don't want to overwork it and you don't want it muddy. So I just like enough here. Show the pebbles, show the rock, and a little bit back in here. Not much. Keep it light. We're going to have the water flow that way. So I'm going to put in a rock here. And then I'm going to come down for a shadow in here. If you can see, you can see. Yeah, here, here, here. And then I'll take it out a little bit. So you can see some texture here. And in here. Here. Yeah, I like that. All right. Now we're going to dip in our clean water. We're going to put the waterfall area in. So I'm going to take pretty much straight white. So you're going to watch. And we're going to put our beautiful waterfall in. Watch. I love when I do this. And I use a lot of water because I want it to be like water. So you want to use a lot of water. And then I'm going to go this way because it's going to tumble. And then it's going to go this way. Show some of those dark spots. Even with the water in there, see? Yep, it worked. And that's how I want it. On the edge here, too. Use a lot of water. And then you can bring it down again for another layer. So I'm going to clean my brush again. And Miles going to run it over here. Watch. Run it over. Yep. I'm going to spill it in here for the waves of the water. There you go turmoil um ruckus ruckus from the water then i'm going to drop in a few spots for splatters and then we got our water even in here you can just bring it in a little bit more of that beautiful permanent blue just a little because it does show it and it's going to spill over here 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 and we got our rocks we got our tumbling water and our rocks. And um, I'm going to give it a few more seconds to dry. We can use a blow dryer, but I'm not. I want it like this. So I'm going to put in a tree. I'm going to make it a little darker this side because I can now. Like that leave it a little dry sometimes that dry brush gives a real nice technique see you can see it see you can run it sideways I, I mean even in here and sideways in here see I like that twist and turn you're not supposed to leave everything at three levels so I might put in a level here and maybe we're gonna clean this brush and drop our and put a big fern in so I'm pretty sure it's dry in the middle so I'm just gonna put a fern in here and here some detail over the rocks too now we can go back in with a little green I'm just bring it in like that so it looks like trees. Then I'm going to bring in the uh, pine tree. So I'm just going to go like this. So watch. I like this part. It's my pine tree. I'm going to just kind of bring it over the darkness in here. Yep. And I like it like this. Pine tree. I love pines. 
a little brown for the pine for the stem part right in here we're going to bring it down like that and all the way up a little black on this side maybe skip we don't want to run a line because that's our pine tree I'm just going to give it a second or two and then we're going to run in that verde green verde because I like that color for the pine tree in a little white so if you can see it I think you can so I'm going to bring in the pine tree right over right in here I like the way they go a little in this one I have a little juice on it but I also have um like the a lot of water to give it that look of a pine tree so I, I kind of leave it juicy and I like the space in here so I want to leave that darkness of that light coming through it's important especially when you work this hard to get a painting like this you want to leave it in there there are your pine needles here a little shorter at the top as always and a little more coming in at the bottom yeah I don't mind that and one coming straight forward and some grass in here yeah not much because we have the green part in here I like that blue and that negative space in there so I'm leaving it I will come over here though and put in some areas of interest as far as weeds, dip in the water, keep it juicy, you know, maybe a few ferns in here. You know, and if you don't like it, you just make yourself a little stamp. And you make some moss. And I like that trail of white in here, so I'm going to drop this down and just do some nice little feelings in here too. Maybe a bush or two lighter in here. Come back in here and put this little light in here. I love that light. Yeah, a little bit of bush, but lighter. So, and then less detail in here too. Just use the tip of that bamboo brush back in here. Yep. And some some things coming in here but not a lot now you can do these these are cool because they look like ferns those are those wide ferns that grow on the edge and a big one in here there i don't mind that <clears throat> looks like a waterfall you got your background your distance maybe some in here drop it down Some leaves over the tree. Yeah. Reminds me a little bit of an oriental painting. Yep. And it's watercolor with opaque. So I wanted this in here because of the rocks and it's tumbling over. And then we're going to have a bed, just a pool. So it hits this part and then it hits this part, which is a rock here. See? We can just bring in a rock around the water you, if you ever went canoeing you know how to read the river and see the rocks and then we got the turmoil and the ruckus at the bottom so I'm going to put a little bit of that permanent blue in here at the bottom this is where we have a little pool of water right down in here hmm? a little pool there and I can even do a little white and we'll stop for the day so if you want to know more tricks and if you want to know more quick tips on art sponsor me sponsor me and I don't mind this rock here we're gonna put a little bit area here a little sharp points on the rocks going down and more here because we got these little pebbles you can see them it up yep now you can see 
the little pebbles I put in at the end here. The foreground, more detail, you know. And I put in a, like a little stretch here and a stretch here so it looks like a rock. And I think we're doing good. We got some fern plants. We got the ruckus in the waterfall. We got the trees. Um, I think it's good. Maybe, I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it. So thank you so much. Remember that you have to um, <clears throat> sponsor me. I'm going to lift this up a little bit so you can see the very end and the whole painting under the light. So I'm going to shut the light off so you really can see it. How nice it came out. I'm going to try to pull it all the way up so you can see the whole painting. So remember to sponsor Mayo. Thumbs up. Sponsor me. This is the watercolor. And this is a scene with a little opaque and watercolor and straight water and a bamboo brush with a nice tip. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.